Richard, yet again this event is excelling. How many people are you expecting here over the next two days? Well, I think, Paul, it's, it's around about 780, something like that. So we, we, we think we may get 800, something like that. I think last year, registrations, pre-registrations were running about 500 and we ended up around 600. So we think it's going to be around that number, yeah. You, you must, before all this started, had a target in your head of what you would have liked to have seen or seen as pre-registration. Is this well beyond that? Well, I had a bet, actually. I'm not a betting man. I'm not a betting man, but I, I talked with some of our guys and said, you know, I reckon, guys, we need to cater for probably 800. So, so you know, it was a stretch, and, and uh, often these things are, and, you know, it's not without some risk. It's not without some challenge. But I, but I think, you know, the amazing thing when you do these things together, you really, really start to see what the team is capable of when we push beyond, you know, our comfort zone. Nigel, we're at Seco Inspiration Through Innovation. Why are you here? Uh, trying to learn something, so some good uh, seminars this morning, so uh, hopefully pick up a few bits and pieces. Have you actually learned anything? Yeah, I thought the uh, one on super alloys was excellent this morning, and put in terms that we could understand rather than in scientific terms that maybe went over our heads a little bit. Paul, over 800 people expected here over the next two days. You're back again. What did you get from last year's show? Hi, Paul. Uh, yeah, last year was a really good event for us. Uh, Seco put on a fantastic event here, and. You know, we got a lot of inquiries, a lot of interest in our machines. It helped promote Romy in the UK, and we couldn't wait to get back. So what have you brought along this year? This looks rather different. Well, this is a new machine to the Romy range. It's a, a D800 hybrid, which is an additive subtractive machine. Um, basically, you can machine and laser weld all on one single setup. Mark, as a sales manager for Matsura, is this the ideal place to showcase your technology? Oh, it is, yeah. I mean, uh, Matsura have had a long-standing relationship with Seiko running for many years. We have lots of uh, mutual customers that are using Matsura with uh, Seiko products attached to it. Um, we've been invited to this show. It's a great um, platform for us to promote the, the MX330, typically trying to uh, generate new customers, especially in, the, in around this area of the country. Um, but this show always manages to drag people from the north and from the south to congregate in the centre. And as I said, it's a good platform for us to promote the Matsura MX330. Good to see you, Geo. Yes, this has been a fantastic event for us, mainly because you get so many different people from so many different areas of engineering. And, uh, you know, it's been an excellent turnout today. You know, we've, we've, we've had probably more inquiries this morning than we have at, a, you know, one of the bigger shows. Part. We often look at the machinery here at the event and all the automation around it. Sometimes we don't talk about the actual Seco tools that people can see as well. What's the new innovations here? What have we got? This is the new Performax, uh, the new insert drill from Seco Tools. It just launched. Okay, so what's what's different with this to, to its predecessor? It's uh, We have taken a good drill, the old Performax drill, and we have looked into all small features and make everything slightly better. So, for example, what you really easy you can see is the new uh, look at, on the uh, on the flutes you can see this uh, it's like a waveform there yeah yes uh, we call it a wave pattern and that that helps uh, to evacuate all the swarf all the ships the car lead times and operating times for speeds and feeds clamping and basically just trying to trim the company budget down and make more profit basically and how have you found it so far? It's been really good. Um, I've had a look at the pre tool setters. They're, they're an eye opener. There's a hell of a machine in the corner, um, the Piper Mill. That's where they make their five series BMW out of um, the solid. That's been absolutely, from what I do at work to what this capability of doing now, is it just blows my mind sometimes, yeah. Daniel, Geo Kingsbury have got quite a good presence here at the uh, Seco Inspiration Through Innovation event, haven't you? They're using your machines to manufacture as well as to demo, aren't they? Yeah, so not only have we got a demonstration running on one of the machines, we actually got the other three machines that are running production parts. So they make all the custom tooling um, for the Seco production. Seco event, so many different partners, so many different technologies under one roof. I think it's amazing. And we're just here to, to showcase some of our innovative strategies and cycles that we have within Hypermill. You've got the robo drill here. Um, this is a very small footprint machine. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the machine, please? OK, um, well, the machine is uh, it's perfect for light and heavy applications, which some people may not realise because, like you say, it's a small machine. So it kind of gives the impression, which 
uh, it might only be suitable for smaller components. But as you can see, we've got a, a larger component. We've got quite a big trunnion on there for what people would associate with the size of the machine. Now, from the highlights of the actual show, what's here this year, there was a lot here last year, but there's even more partners this time, isn't there? How many more this time? Well, we're at 50 technology partners. I think we were at 40 last year. We've got about 20 waiting in the wings that we've said, sorry, there's no space this year. So that's pretty awesome. I, I, when you look at them, you know, there's some fantastically interesting stuff. It's dangerous ground now for me because I'm going to miss some people. But if you look at the Romy, the hybrid machine from Romy, where you've got additive manufacturing on one side in the same machine and then you can finish machine and additive manufactured part, that's pretty cool. We've got Anker's uh, grinding machine with a robot cell, two FANUC robots on there with measuring, calibration, grinding, fully automated cell. That's a launch, that's their first UK launch here. So that's pretty tremendous. Then, then we've got people like Heller for the first time. They've been, the, they've been the last couple of years, but this time now committing with a big five axis machine that they've shipped in. Neil, inspiration through innovation at Seco. Why are you here? Well, initially for the invitation from our great rep from Seco, but we're a small company, we work alone, and we design and make our own products. That's great, but we don't get to interact with many other people, so we don't see how other people are developing. So literally, Innovation Through Inspiration, we're here to see what machines might be in the near market for us, but also aspirational down the road. Different people work holding, different ways of measuring things. Always gives you ideas. You look at somebody else, there's good ideas everywhere, but you've just got to be able to see them. It was just a matter of months ago I was here talking to Adrian Walker at Seco about their MyPages software. Back again today at the event. Adrian, good to see you again. Just for our viewers, tell us uh, what MyPages is and what it can do for them. Um, my, my pages. Uh, it's a digital portal. It's a single uh, single sign-on, as we call it, and it's everything Seco at the touch of a button. Okay, so what's what's the benefit? I come along today. What am I going to see? What are you going to show me? Well, we can show you a lot of things, especially on the .com site, all the new products. Uh, more importantly, how to run those products uh, at the, the optimum speed to feed. Right. So I've got a, a machine, a piece of material. I want to do a U drilling operation. I come onto this system, and, 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 and how does it tell me what to do? Well, what you need is this. Uh, ultimate piece of software we call Suggest. What Suggest will, uh, will give you is uh, it will ask you what uh, material you're cutting on what kind of type of machine and what the operation is and then Suggest will tell you the best tool to run at the optimum speed and feed. So today we're working with Heller um, and also Seco at their open house. So today we're showing off um, an aerospace rib part. So the material's um, um, P20 steel and we're making three components out of one solid block and we are using some of the uh, high performance tools from Seco. Uh, there's a lot of uh, time saving, you can obviously leave the uh, machine uh, running. Uh, there's things like less tool changes, you can just flick the uh, 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 part round to the next position. Yeah, actually uh, we are presenting here at the uh, Seco event uh, one of our latest uh, development of uh, high speed and uh, high precision five axis machining centre. The machine is, uh, has uh, a brand new design and uh, very advanced features in terms of uh, precision and uh, speed. So what we've done here at Seco uh, is we partner with Anker, uh, Australian grinding manufacturer. Uh, they have put together a fully automated cell which includes a gauging element using the equator uh, comparator system. Uh, this cell is actually on a tour of the world, so started out in Australia moved on to Emo Hanover, now it's here in the UK at the Seco event. How would you review this event, Inspiration Through Innovation? I think it's the second or maybe third year. So how, how has it gone for you guys? Oh, it's just bigger and bigger and better every time. It's been a constant stream of customers, prospects, engaging with people I haven't seen for a while. So just the kind of nice atmosphere that you get here and the sheer density of people is fantastic. Hey, it's your first time here. What do you think? I think it's been a cracking day today. Uh, plenty of football and we've had some good solid inquiries. There's a real buzz around here as well. Yeah. I mean, even the noise you can hear, obviously this is very, very dedicated to Seco, yeah. this area. Yeah. But even out on the uh, in the showroom area, there's lots going on, isn't there? Yeah, there's lots going on. And I think, you know, coming back to this, what what is this about? Inspiration through innovation. And I, and I just want to just spend a moment on inspire, because it's such a cool word. Um, if, if you, it's made from, from Latin, two words in Latin. It means in or into, and spirare, which is a Latin word for to breathe. So it means to breathe into. And the definition in the Oxford English Dictionary says, it says to inspire, it says to fill someone with the urge or ability 
to do or feel something, and then it says, especially something creative. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a brilliant show today. Remember, the show is on tomorrow. Have you enjoyed yourself? Loved it. Full of technology, full of people, busy events. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I must have spoken to about 50 people today. I could have done with two of me, really. Yeah, I could do with a twin. Oh. Yeah, I've been busy as well. My legs are aching. Same here. And my back. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. That's good of you. It's very good of you. And you've been in the canteen all day.